Hi Marion. Hi Raquel. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little technique using some MDF that we've got from Samantha K. Um, and then we're going to sort of use the melt it and pour into it as well. So first of all, we're going to take the MDF, open that up. It's lovely and flat and I'm just going to go straight in to the ink pad with it. So I'm going to push that in there so I want to get all the ink onto the MDF I'll just be careful as I get to these little bits because they're a little bit more fragile so I won't push too hard and then I'm going to use two of the colours out of Joffy's um, trio the trio is called Dockside mm -hmm. and it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous okay so that's covered in ink now I'll shake this one because it's got a glitter in it yep and then I'll just cover it all over. Wow. Throw that. And then shake off the excess. And then that can go back in the pot. And I'm getting a very pretty carpet behind me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take that later. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's just pop my lid on. And now I'm gonna heat set this. If you're not familiar with our heat tool, it's got two settings. You never want to cover the vent, so you hold it around here where the logo is. And I'm going to work it on number two. So I'm just going to go directly over. And as soon as you see it sparkling at you, this is how to tell with the glittery ones, then you can just move along. So I'm just going to go around the whole design. going and I'll know if it's all done because if I look at it in a moment and I see any matte areas then I'll know they're not completely done so I can just go back in and do a little bit more so I'm just going to check it with my glasses on that all looks good okay so I'm going to work just on the mat now I'm not going to put it on paper and I've got one of our foil trays I'm going to make a little pouring spout just by putting my finger in there and then I pop a peg on the other side. And then I'm gonna use the melt it. Yep. So melt it we normally use with molds, etc. But this just works in here, it's just lovely. So this was the other one, glassy ocean. So this is gonna give us a translucency. It's gonna be a very glassy look because it's a translucent powder. So I'm only putting a small amount in there. And the melt it acts like a carrier. I'm just gonna mix it up. It's like cooking. It is like cooking. <laughs> but with more fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good at cooking. <laughs> so again, on setting number two, and this time I'm gonna go, if I come up to you, I'm gonna go very close to it, but not actually touching. Yeah. And I keep it in one position. And I can see it start churning now. Can you see it yeah. just start melting? When I see it melting, then I start moving the heat tool around because I don't need to keep melting the same bit. So I'm just going to continue on. And now it's going to start moving because what's happening is it's melting from underneath and then it starts coming through to the top. And you'll notice I'm doing it from underneath, not from the top, because otherwise the powder just goes everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Very entertaining, yeah. but not good. And then okay. you have not a carpet, but everywhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna give this a little swirl. Go around like that. By swirling it, you're grabbing some of that powder in the molten liquid. And when there's only a small amount on top, I can change hands. What I'm gonna do, I put the heat up here, so I'm pushing, I'm using the heat to push it all down to that pouring spout. I wanna get it all down there and keep it molten as I pour. So I'll keep that on there, nice and molten. And then I'm just gonna go straight in. And I wanna make sure it touches the edges. That one, and then I'll do that one. Okay. Sit. 
and while that's setting um, this bit this is going to set as well and I can reuse this as well so I usually write on the bottom of the foil case the color that I've used ah, okay and then I can just reuse it if I didn't like this I could remelt it again you can just melt everything back down again mm -hmm. so it doesn't take long so I'm just gonna pop that down there this is probably going to take about 40 seconds okay you can time me actually <laughs> and, <see. laughs> and what about these do you so do them by hand? That, no, so that's exactly the same ah, technique the there, okay. but then I just pour it into a silicone mould. That's great. But that one is actually from this one called Bang. And if I show you, it's, wow. actually, it's already got multicolours in yeah. there. Yeah. So it, you get like these swirl effects with it. Beautiful. They're lovely. This is my favourite. So that's the same technique. Wow. But this time it's using the sparkles and new sparkles that have actually got chunky, wow. lovely bits yeah, in there. Nice They're really sparkly. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's really what you like, don't you? I do, I do. <laughs> I'm from Essex. <laughs> and what about this one? That is you that's got the sparkles. So so that's the same thing yeah. as what we've done there, yeah. but that's using the gold rush sparkles okay. with the melted. Very nice too. Which is the same as that, but that was with the silver. Oh no, I think I used Atlantica on that. I forget what I've used. <laughs> so you just want to give it a little tap. See that it's done. Wow. And then that could actually go on as a necklace piece. Or you can just put it on onto a card. Decorate a card with it. A bit of paper artsy paint. <laughs> yeah, good. We'll go to Paper Artsy Booth later as well. We, we love Paper Artsy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. And it's as simple as that. Thank so, you so much, Mary. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks. Bye. Bye.